Alrighty, next up is Ali Wong. Ali Wong is another Comedy Store comic, and she has a couple specials on Netflix. I saw the second one first because my wife had seen like her first one, and then and she saw her second one, and she, and she likes her. And she told me I should watch it, and I've heard her name before, just like on different podcasts and stuff like that, and and um, I wanted to eventually see her stuff so i was like fuck it yeah and i started and watched her first i'm sorry her second uh comedy special then i went back and watched the first one after that but the second one she did both of them pregnant so she has at least two kids that i know of and she's like very pregnant on stage and a lot which is probably why my why my wife like liked her so much because my wife watched it while pregnant and you know, it's a lot of, like, pregnancy-related things, obviously. You know, that's her experience at the time. What else is she going to speak about? It would have been weird if she didn't speak about it. And uh, a lot of, like, relationship stuff. And she's, like, dirty. And not, like, as in cleanliness. You know, she seems, like, very clean and nice. But, <laughs> like, a dirty comic, meaning that she curses and she's raunchy and speaks, speaks about, like, raunchy shit. And she was real and, like, raw. And, and by that, I mean, you know, she didn't, like, sugarcoat stuff. She wasn't, like, trying to be cute. And she's a, a top-level comic. Obviously a headliner, but, you know, like, a high-quality one. And I, I definitely enjoyed her special. She speaks about her husband, how she, like, met her husband and found out that he was going to, like, Harvard Business School or Harvard Business grad school or something like that and she was talking about like she she was like her first thought was and you think that she's gonna say like you know i have to get him to notice me and maybe he'll ask me out and he's like the guy in my dreams or you know he's gonna have a lot of money or whatever and she was like i gotta trap his ass <laughs> and it's funny she's asian too which i don't know why but to me adds to like the funniness I don't know why that's probably racist, but I'm not racist, I swear. But I think it's funny, like, when an Asian does, like, when she does do, like, Asian voices or something like that, or, like, Russell Peters when he does an Indian accent or something like that, I find it hilarious. So she does a little bit of that. She was definitely amusing to to watch, and I laughed out loud on more than one occasion throughout the special. What else? She like she li- she's wearing like a dress in it. And she like lifts her dress up and like shows her panties and shit a couple times, which I thought was pretty ballsy. Even though she doesn't have balls. <laughs> um. What else? And she she's actually um more popular than like I even knew of. Cause like I knew her name just from like the whole, you know, a lot of podcasts I listen to and the whole comedy store crew. They're, like, following shit, but, like, I don't know, like, they have, like, Halloween costumes of her, because she has, like, like a distinct look, and, like, little little kids, like, parents dressed up, like, their little girls as Ali Wong for, like, Halloween, like, shit like that. She has, like, these big red glasses and, like, a zebra dress. She's an interesting cat, and definitely funny, and worth the watch. So check it out. It's on Netflix. The one that I recommend more is the second one, but the first one was funny too, from what I remember. But the second one was definitely more memorable, and it's called Hard Knock Wife. <laughs>